tips for working from home with a baby and what I do during the day to help me get through each day. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Isabella. Welcome, I'm so glad to have you here. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and join my YouTube journey. So I do wanna give a little background on what I'm going to start doing. So every Tuesday will be a more serious video, sit down somewhere where I kinda just talk about a specific topic or something along those lines, and Friday videos, so I'll be posting Tuesday and Friday. Friday videos would be more like vlog style and more fun activity videos, and also some challenges, things like that. So that is my plan as of right now. Yeah, so today's video is going to be about working from home with a baby. And I know some people are like, you work from home, it's so easy. No, it is not easy at all. It is super, super difficult. I just want to go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of my experience. I have now been working from home for about a year and a half. I worked from home most of my pregnancy and then I had my baby in September of 2020 and it is now August of 2021. My baby's almost one years old. Um, so I have been working almost a full year with a baby. So to some of you working from home with your baby might sound amazing and it is amazing. I'm not here to try to tell you that that is not one of the best things about my life right now. I get to witness my baby growing. I don't miss milestones. I'm here for every step. That is just awesome. I would not trade that for anything. But it is very difficult. There is times where your baby's screaming in the background of a meeting and you have to mute yourself and you're trying to say something, they ask you a question and you can't unmute until your baby stops screaming. Things like that is just the life of working at home with a baby right there. That pretty much sums it up. But despite all of the stressful times, it can be very beneficial. And I have tips to help you reduce the stress, and look more on the brighter side every single day when you are stressing and worried and anxious and mom guilt and all of the things. I have some tips for how to deal with those things and how to move forward past them and just stop being stressed. And here they are. My first tip is to remember why you are working. Why are you working? You're working to provide, you're working to give back to your family and maybe pay the bills or whatever the case may be, you are working towards something. You are creating this future for your baby, for your family, for yourself. And I think it's really good to remember this during those hard times. You just gotta remember why, your reason why, like why. Anything in life, just turn back and look at why you're doing it. The original reason you started and that will help you get through it and understand that, hey, maybe this isn't so bad. It can really help get through the assignment or whatever it is that is bothering you at the moment. Um, that really helps me during the day, is just remembering my why. In the end, it, it benefits them, it benefits you, it benefits everyone in your family. It is what has to be done sometimes. Okay, tip number two is it teaches your kid hard work. So although this might not be teaching your baby hard work directly, this is showing them that from an early age that you are working on something. You know, not everything is all fun and games. Uh, we do have responsibilities and things that we need to do to accomplish things and get where we wanna get, you have to put in hard work. So it was really hard for me to think about it this way. I really dislike just turning the TV on and having Mila sit there. I have a really hard time just putting her in front of the TV and she has to she has to watch TV sometimes. And if that's what distracts her, if that's what's going to help me get through my meeting 
or whatever it is, that's, that's what has to be done. At the beginning of the day, I can kind of plan out, okay, I have a meeting at this time, I'll t turn the TV on for her at this time, and you know, you can kind of find the balance there. So your baby or toddler or kid sees you working towards something, and although they may not understand, in the future, they will understand. Maybe buying them some learning toys that they can play with next to you during that specific time. Maybe getting out some art supplies that they can have some fun while you're in a meeting. Things like that and try to have this planned out so that you're not trying to scramble right before your meeting. I try to have it ready to go and that would be very helpful too. And tip number three is to take advantage of remote work. Take advantage of being home. Seriously, take advantage of it. Depending on your workload and depending how your job works, mine is a little more flexible, so I can take a longer lunch and really enjoy that time with Mila and I can cook meals. So that is another way that we bond. I really love to cook for her and have her warm meals ready. And I really take that time, you know, and to get away from the screens, go take a walk, things like that to really enjoy your lunch because sometimes it's hard when your computer is sitting there, you're in the same room and you're trying to relax on your lunch or eat lunch and your computer's there and you hear it dinging and you hear the emails. No, put that computer on silent, go take a walk and go cook some lunch. Really take advantage of this remote work. Tip number four is to enjoy seeing your baby's milestones. So of course, working from home, that means you're home and you care for your baby or maybe you have some help. You're home, you get to see their first steps, you get to hear their first word and you get to experience all of their firsts. Those firsts are so special. I just love having those in my memory and I'm so grateful that I get to be here to witness them and enjoy them and uh, congratulate her. I will never ever take that for granted. So enjoy the milestones and appreciate the fact that you get to be home and witness these beautiful moments. And tip number five is very important. Do not mix your work life with your home life. Your husband has nothing to do with what Jerry told you at work and they have nothing to do with each other. Doesn't matter if your computer is five feet away when you guys are chilling, watching Netflix later on in the day, doesn't matter. Like I said, turn your computer on silent so you cannot hear it. Um, that's very helpful. Don't bring in work issues, you know. Uh, vent if you need a vent, that's different. Talk to your, your partner or whoever you live with, that's totally different. But once you turn the computer off, just turn the computer off and forget about it. If that computer goes off, just just leave it at that because mixing work and home life just does not work. Coming to you like hours later because my camera died. What's new? Your girl still has not bought an extra battery yet. What's new? So the light actually is different, but it looks a little better if you ask me. Hello. Let me continue on. So tip number six, I'm gonna give you guys a little bonus tip because I really wanted to add this one in here and it is that you need to take some time away from your baby, away from your baby. If you work from home, odds are you have your baby the moment they wake up to the moment they go to sleep, right? So you need that time away. Yes, the mom guilt is there, leaving your baby, feeling the need to need alone time, feeling like you want some time to yourself is okay. That is okay and that's perfectly normal and it's much, much needed. It is needed so that you can be the best mom that you can possibly be. It is needed. You need to go and think for yourself. Enjoy a moment to yourself because you really, really deserve it. It does not mean that you can't disappear for three days on an island just to have a few drinks with yourself and reconnect with yourself, okay? Let me just be the one to tell you that. I like to try to take a moment a day to myself, even just sitting here on the carpet in front of me, stretching, 
breathing alone and knowing that my baby is safe in bed and just taking that moment for myself and making it happen. When I first had a baby, it was a little more difficult for me to make that happen because when she was sleeping, I would go off and clean or something like that. But that's gonna wrap up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy and I really wish the lighting was like this the whole video. I'm so happy to have every single one of my subscribers. I'm gonna grow. I'm gonna grow and I'm gonna accomplish everything that I said I was gonna accomplish because I'm not gonna give up and and that's that, right? Follow your dreams. Don't ever give up anything you want to do. Do it. Just start it. Any side businesses that you've been thinking and so scared to start, just start. Start it. Do it. Dream it. Live it. Make it happen because you're the only one who can make it happen. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you have not. And I will see you guys next time. Oh,